so guys i hope you have watched the kid uh, the video of the kid system so now in this video we are going to design uh, some layout of your uh, using the gear system so this is uh, this is the layout we are going to design in this video you can see we have one header section we have three item section one a sidebar one main content and then again the item section over here and one photo so if we are going to, uh, this is what we are going to design in this video using the gray systems in CSS so let's just start working with it so I need a for example, first of all I need a gate container in which I am going to, I'm going to specify the URL in which in given case I'm going to assign your all the classes over here First it's your header and let's just name it header only. Sorry. And second is your let's just check this out what are so your items so item one two three item one And item two, and your item three, then we have a sidebar. So sidebar. Then we have your so again the let me show you check this out okay after the sidebar we have the your content over here main content okay content And after this, the again the three items are appearing, so I'm just copying these three items from over here still, and just using them, just changing the number of it. For example, this is your six, seven. This is your eight. Okay. And after that, we have one footer. Okay. Okay guys, so you can see in my output that we have done nothing but in this you, uh, you can also do this the same. So we are going to just design the layout something like this only. Something like not this. We are going to design the same layout. And in this you can see that I have uh, uh, represent the rows and the column by the your uh, uh, arrows over here so this is your one row second row third row fourth row and fifth row as i am told in the previous video so you might be it i find that you might face any problem while understanding the concept of your rows and columns so i decided to just uh, specify it over here in the different colors so it will be easy for you to understand and similarly you can understand the, uh, the, the columns are in the orange color so first column second column third column Fourth column and fifth column, sixth column, because I told you that this is the space after the uh, your uh, items. For example, we have the header, so we have the space upper, upper, on the upper side and the in between. So we count as one and two columns. Sorry, the rows are the columns like that only. Actually, guys, uh, I have made a mistake over here. Uh, Sorry guys, that this is your the green color is your rows uh, columns and the orange color is your rows over here. Sorry guys, I just made a mistake over here. Your green color is your columns. You can see that this is the columns uh, in the green, and the orange one is your rows. Sorry guys, I have wrote the wrong thing over here by mistake. So please don't get confused with it. So let's just start working with this. So. Um, as we are going to, let's just, I'm going to assign my text to center first, and let's just give a color to each of each one of these, each one of them. 
So for us, for your background color off. Background. Similarly, we are going to okay. Let's just do background color off this. And I'm just changing my okay. First of all, I just create a create container over here. No, but I'm sorry. I have to first to full target my grid container because we are going to work with your grid. So specify the display type of grid and just leave it for now. And now we can work with your similarly we're going to specify your items color over there. So item one and the PG of some different color, for example this color. And similarly, the item two and three. So let me just uh, like them first, and then we will talk. Okay, let's just leave it because we have specified the same okay same class over there, so it will take automatically the same color. Let's just specify the footer color over here. Okay, we have also specified the content background. Also, so I'll just take one of the background from here. Now your last one is your photo. So PC and okay guys. So now let's just check our output. So now you can see we have specified some colors to it. Okay. So it will be easy for you to understand the. Uh, difference in between them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a, sorry, firstly I'm going to specify some grid cap in between them. So, sorry guys, grid cap, okay, of uh, 15 pixels, for example, okay, so I, it, it will be more, I guess, 5 pixels will be, okay, 5 pixels is good for us. For now. So now we are going to create some different rows and sections. Let's just see what our output is. So we have to create like this. So we have to stretch our uh, your header part to from the starting point to the ending point of your entire web page. So what you can do is you have to come in the header part. Okay, first of all, we have to create a column also. Okay, we are one column, two column, and three column, and four column. Okay. So let us create a uh, three columns over there. So let's see, create template. Sorry, template columns. So it will be going for example, I can write of any pixels for now. For example, I can write 100 pixels, 100 pixels, and 100 pixels. And now you can see in the output that it will be like this. Okay. So in place of the 100 pixel and 100 pixel and 100 pixel, what you can write, you can say, write something like one fraction, and it will automatically adjust the space. Okay, so now you can see it will automatically adjust the space of your uh, column over there, and similarly, you can work with your. Okay, now you can see the equal amount of space is present between your all items. And we will even create the uh, grid row, or sorry, grid template row. 
fraction is a new unit come on your CSS3 which automatically adjusts the space uh, according to your content and I'm going to specify my because uh, you can see that uh, our three columns are repeated over here you okay, guys three columns are repeated oh sorry guys I think I have made a mistake over here I have to first of all create the rows okay so I'm just removing that part for now because I will tell you why I have just removed that so I'm going to just uh, create my rows so I'm going to specify for example 100 pixels of width 200 pixels of it and for example 100 pixels of it again so now uh, I want to uh, tell you one thing that guys this on uh, the head part the item 1 and item 2 are your implicit uh, elements because we have specified the uh, uh, width of your means we have specified the side of your header item 1 and item 2 but we haven't specified your uh, and the rest of the item item 3 is to item foot or uh, the footer item uh, footer element these are your explicit element because we didn't have to specify the uh, width of your rows so I think you understand what I mean to you and similarly uh, for now I'm just uh, taking all the height of 100, 100 pixels for now so we have how many rows over there four more rows so just copy this okay might be it might be just taking more space i guess okay so let's just leave for now leave it for now okay guys so now we have specified a equal amount of uh, space spacing from here if I use the one fraction value, then you can see that what happens over here. Let me show you if I just choose the one fraction. Because our row is, you can see, uh, aside by just small, taking the small portion, that's why a one fraction means a small portion of your uh, width. Is. So I'm just uh, giving the, specifying the amount of your uh, row. Uh, and similarly now we can work with your grid system so now what you can see over here grid template column sorry okay so in, in my output you can see that we have specified three columns or oh, uh, we have one two three column and fourth column here so if i just specify the so we have to create four columns so as you can see my three columns are having the same width and same height so um, I can write something like repeat three. It will repeat three up to three columns, and the value of, for example, one fifty pixels if I take, and after that you can specify your another value, another last uh, last column value. So now you can see uh, we have created a columns like this. So first three columns are of one fifty pixels, and last one of your uh, your hundred pixels. But you can see here we have that. We are left with the y space over here. So what I can do is I can specify the fraction value over here. So I can just go in here and I can write something like one fraction, for example. And now you can see it automatically adjusts the space. Okay, guys, you can see that it automatically adjusts the space of your items. So what I can, what I do now, uh, what I'm going to do because now I need uh, these uh, my header to. Uh, stretch out in the entire web page so for that I can just come over here I can write grid column and specify the value from 1 to minus 1 usually uh, uh, for example if I just specify for example 1 to 3 then you can see it will take space from uh, uh, because your column start from the, from the leftmost side as you can see our column starting from this uh, one column Two column and three column, so it takes uh, space up to two items. So you can see it takes up to space of your two items for one item and two items, so, and it is one, two, and three column. And if I want to, if I, uh, if you don't understand, then you can write for span, for example, span up to two times. So you can see the same result over there. So we want to span it to up to your one, uh, one, two, three. 
and four. So we have we can write like uh, span four or to span four. Okay, or we can write uh, five also one to five. It also have the same reason, and we can write one more thing which is your one to minus one, and it will automatically adjust the it will automatically adjust your the width of your header. It will start from the starting point and ends upon the last of your. You can see the same output all uh, present over here. Okay, guys. So whenever you require to fulfill the width of your entire web page, you can use uh, one to minus one because it automatically adjusts the space. Yeah, uh, you don't have to specify the number of spans or columns uh, starting or ending point. And now you can see that uh, our items are now at a fixed position. And previously, but as we have required three items, so now they are at the same position as we are requiring all. So now I want to change. Uh, let's just change the with all these items because it's just giving us too much space over here. And so I'm gonna create. I'm gonna get a Increase this uh, little space. For example, 400 pixels for now. Let us see how it looks like. Okay, so now our side by looks uh, good as compared to previous because previously it was uh, just squeezing up there. So our first three items are at the position and our side bar is also at the position. So now I what I what we want now we want to uh, stretch out our Main container to like this and a slide bar sidebar to like this. So what I can do, I can just uh, come over here and find a container content part and how many it will going to take a uh, your or uh, span one two three. So it will starting from the span one. Uh, sorry, starting from the position one and going to end with span three. So I'm just writing over here. Uh, for example, the great column starting from one and ending on your Span three. Uh, span three, guys. So now you can see it automatically uh, just this piece. And now we want to uh, stretch our this sidebar to the item eight positions. So your sidebar is starting from the position second. You can see it's starting from the position second because the position first is your the top of your header part. Let me show you over in the, in the folder. And you can see that our sidebar is starting from this position, this location, and your first location is this, and this is your second location, so four. And your si uh, sidebar is starting from second and ending on your uh, third, fourth, and fifth, at your fifth position. So what you can do, you have to come over here and find this si sidebar, and you have to write grid row because now we are working with your grid row. So you have to start because your grid row is starting from second position. You can see now that. This our row is starting from second position and ending on our fifth position. So I'm gonna specify this ending point of fifth. And now you can see my sidebar is stretched out over here. So wait for a second, guys. Now let me just show. Okay. I actually, guys, I have just a make a mistake over here. I guess. I'll wait for a second. Okay. So now you, what? Uh, what you can see that uh, our sidebar is. Uh, Come towards the left side because uh, this system has the property to by default it will push the item adjust the item according to it and it will take the item which has the maximum height and width to the left side. So if I want to uh, this item the sidebar to the right side, what you can do you have to come in the column section uh, in the you have to specify the your did column value also over oh, here? Yeah. So let's just see what from where our column is starting from. So you can see that our column is starting from the one, two, three, and four. It's starting from the fourth position and ending on the fifth position. So what I can do, I can just write over here fourth uh, and fifth like this. And now you can see uh, the sidebar is like this, and it's looking good also. And then let's just uh, increase the width of your these columns or uh, items in item two according to your wish. You can adjust it later on. And now we're gonna left with uh, the footer part. So if we want to stretch our our footer, so we can do the same as we have done in the head part. 
we just come over here and we can type the grid columns from 1 to minus 1 and boom guys the magic you can see the magic over here <laughs> you can see how easily we just design this layout using your k systems and you can also see that this is your responsive also okay it is so in this way you can create your different layouts if you want you can just change the width of your for example we can just uh, change of uh, the width of your mix uh, main content to the 500 pixels one two three four and okay fourth one i guess this one to for example i can just change it to 400 pixels oh i think i have changed the footer part okay actually now we have one two three four and five okay so we have to deal with the three so it is over here okay okay guys so now you can see my our main content is like this and similarly you can uh, edit the space of your car item one and item two also so let us uh, change that also for now and now you don't have to write like this so you can just change according to it so our first row is 100 pixels and our top item row for example 200 250 pixels and your content is your again this and the item is this and your footer is like this let's just see okay guys so now it look good so in this way you can work with your uh, different you can create different layout as per your wish Firstly, you can design the layout or in your paint or I will teach you late in the next session the prototyping in which uh, I will just uh, teach you how to design the UI of your web page and all. So till then guys, uh, keep practicing and live a life guys.